Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the JavaScript if else statement. Now, why do we need if else statements? In any programming language, there might be conditions to basically evaluate a condition and based on if the condition is true, do this, else do this, else if do this, right? So there are multiple possibilities around if else statements and every programming language most, you know, will support these conditions. So JavaScript also has the if else conditions that we can basically write to evaluate the statements, the program statements or our API test as per the condition fulfillment. So let's understand the basic structure or uh, the basic of the if statement. So basically say for example, uh, what is the syntax? So if say for example, the condition, right? So very basic syntax, if condition, and then within the curly braces, you write the code, right? So this is basically the keyword if, and then within the parenthesis, you have to provide the condition and then the within the curly braces, you write the code, right? So this is what JavaScript if statement is all about. Now, where we are going to use it, say for example, I define a variable, okay? So I'll say name as number, okay? Variable name as number and assign a value five to it, okay? Now I want to check if this particular number is less than or equal to five, then I print something on the console. If it is not, then something else, right? So then what I can use it, I can use if condition, right? So I can say if, and then there is a condition, right? So I can then check for the condition, right? So I can say if number is less than or equal to five, right? So this is basically what comparison, right? So basically we are comparing whether the number, this number is less than or equal to five, then you print something. Okay. So let's say we want to print on the console, right? So I just want to print on the console and I want to say the number is less than or equal to five. Okay. And that's it, right? So this is the basic if condition. All right. Now, if I go back to console, okay and clear it and run this again run this program you will see the number is less than or equal to five okay because the number that has been assigned is five and five when we run this if condition this number is replaced here basically right so five is less than or equal to basically five is equal to five and that's where within the parenthesis so only if this condition will be fulfilled then the control of this program will come into this line which is line number four within the parenthesis okay so based on this condition if condition becomes true then the lines that you write line of code that you write within the parenthesis after if will be executed okay so this is basic if now, if say, for example, this condition is not fulfilled, right? So if this is fulfilled, which is true, then do this. If not, what? Right. So there is else as well, right? So we can also say, right, if this do this else, right, else in the curly braces, right, in the curly braces, we can again define what to do, right? So we can say console dot log. Okay. And then here we print something else, right? So we say the number is not less than five. Okay. So something like that. So if this condition will be fulfilled, program control will come within this parenthesis, right? Else this condition. Okay. So say for example, at the moment five is equal to five. So in the console, you will see the number is not is less than or equal to five. Okay. Now, if say, for example, I change this to six, right? And then try it again. So in the console, the number is not less than five will be printed. Okay. So this is how if and else condition will be evaluated within JavaScript. Okay. Now there is third form as well. So if else, if else. Okay. So basically if there are multiple conditions that you want to check, right? So you can also write if and then after that, say for example, else if. So if here, if I want to check if number is less than five. Okay. So you print number is less than number is less than five. Okay. So in this condition, just print number is less than five. Okay. Else if we can also specify condition. Okay. So we can say another condition else if number is equal to. Okay. And here we are using this three equal to sign, which is strict equality basically. So this will equate or this will compare the data type equality as well basically numbers with numbers okay so make sure in javascript you use three equal to sign if you are 
trying to compare the numbers or strings right so the second condition is if the number is equal to 5 okay with a 3 equal to sign right because single equal to sign is an assignment operator we have already seen that okay so else if number is equal to 5 5 then we print number the number is equal to 5 okay and then else okay so if we have more conditions say for example i want to have more condition then i can again use else if okay and then another condition and then at last else okay so that's how this whole chaining and hierarchy work so if else if a condition then to what else if or else you know at last i just say console dot log number is more than five okay so just to explain basically or just to explain about the if else conditions within javascript i'm just writing this dummy code okay so basically at the moment number is holding the value six right so here what will happen when this condition will be evaluated if number number is six right so six is less than five no right so this condition is evaluated to what false that means the control is not going to go within these curly brackets right so this statement is not going to get executed then it will come to else if the next condition right it will come to else if and then we'll check for is number equal to five no right this is again evaluated to false this condition is not true so this block will also get skipped okay so finally which block will get executed the else block will always get executed right so if any because there is no condition right so else will always be evaluated and uh, executed if there is say for example the the above conditions are not met right then else block will always be executed and whatever is there within the else block will get printed or evaluated okay if any of the condition above else is met then the block where the condition has been met will be executed okay and the loop will get out of the the whole this if else statement then else won't be executed okay so let's see this okay so let's see this in action we'll go to the console and send this request and see what is printed so number is more than five because number is six okay now say for example we say number is five okay and go to console and let's see what is printed this okay so you'll see number is equal to five why because if we go back here okay here the evaluated statement is this number is five right which is equal to five and then this block got executed and the loop got or basically this condition because this condition has been met then it exited out of this whole if else block and didn't come here okay only if no conditions above if else if or any other if else if statements won't be met then else will be executed. okay so this is basic logic around if else if else statement you can have nested if if else right so for example within if we can have if else if again okay so within if we can have that but that level of uh, nesting will be highly unlikely required because postman itself provides a lot of out of the box test functionality this is for your understanding and we'll be using these right i mean it's not just that we are learning javascript we won't be using it there will be many use cases and scenarios wherein you will be using these conditionals if else if statements in our api testing automation okay test automation will be using these a lot so make sure you clear the fundamentals understanding the fundamentals format is important rest all will try to correlate once we go to the actual request and response and how we are going to tackle those scenarios so that's all for this particular video on javascript if else i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching